When you're doing rotations, start with an original shape. Let's take that orange triangle in the upper right hand quadrant, quadrant one. If we want to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degrees clockwise, or 270 degrees clockwise, I teach my students to do that two ways. The first way I teach my students is to imagine you have a pencil and you put it on the middle of the paper right at the origin. If you do that and you spin the paper around, you can visualize how that shape or how a point would change if you rotate it. I call that the graphy way. The second way I tell them is that they can use the coordinates of each point that makes up a shape and change them in a way that we know how to get a 90, 180, or 270 degree rotation. That's the mathy way. Let's look at this as our original shape and we'll focus in on this point, 3, 1. If you want to rotate 90 degrees clockwise, you're going to take both of those coordinates, switch them, and change the sign in back. Switch your coordinates and change the sign in back. So instead of 3, 1, we're going to get 1, negative 3. Next, if we rotate from our original shape to 180 degrees clockwise, instead of 3, 1, we're going to keep the order, but we're going to switch both of our signs. Negative 3, negative 1. So for 180 clockwise, keep the order, but change both of the signs. Finally, if we're going to make three turns in a clockwise fashion to get to 270 degrees, instead of 3, 1, we're going to land here at negative 1, 3. How do we do it? We switch both coordinates and this time change the sign in front. So 3, 1 became negative 1, 3. Let's review. 90 degrees clockwise, switch the order of the coordinates, change the sign in back. 180 degrees clockwise, keep the order, change both signs. 270 degrees clockwise, switch the order, change the sign in front.